Hey guys, it's Andrew from Sound Jetty. In this video, we're gonna show you how Gilde Flores, composer and producer, scored Ambition's trailer. Take a look. My name is Gilde Flores. I'm a composer producer. I wanna take the time to walk you through this Ambition trailer creation that I did for Ambition. I really wanted to stick to using presets so that you could hear the power of Ambition out of the box. With the help of some EQing and some verbs and whatnot, I really stuck to just using Ambition on this. When I started out, I just started with some simple colors, so I thought I would have to even use, you know, a separate string patch. But once I loaded the first preset of Colony, I knew I was in some good shape. So start off with the mid, started with the higher register, and just started stacking from that point on. I also did render, for the sake of this video, into Waves audio, so I did leave the name to the patches I used here. Because I do tend to get a lot of contacts going once I get inspired. So with that, leading into the next section, I started building into these pads and drones to kind of make them a little more darker, a lot heavier. Let me go ahead and add the rest of the... The pulsing here. There's, I uh, used ashes and dust from Ambition. I added some other elements here with beautiful glitches, just to kind of, just a sustained note. From this section, I felt it needed some kind of piano, some kind of ostinato. Um, so I did find this patch here called Keys Busted Bells. I stacked it with a higher register. From there I felt like it needed a lead, so I found um, in the multi-patches called Space Time Travelers. I did some tweaking on all these as well, just kind of here and there, EQing and whatnot. But with this, I came up with this um, let's see. here. From that point, I felt like it needed to sound a little more um, video game or vintage. So I took that, um, exported it into audio, and I did some EQing here, some cuts. Then I pulled up another EQ and did some more surgical type EQing on it and came up with this. So to support that, I came across a patch um, really heavy into the Blade Runner type vibe. Um, I did change, do some tweaking here and came up with... Sorry if that was loud. I did render that, but as you can see, I um, did a lot of pitch bins automation, which gave it that really cool portamento type slurring into each other. Let me show you.
For this last section, I stuck with the pads, drones, everything I had done. What I did is I moved it over here and created with a fade in, uh, more of like a crescendo feel to it with the help of some risers. Um, not much. I did find it. I couldn't remember what patch it was exactly in Ambition. But the... Then an abrupt, you know, and then kind of cleaned it up a little bit so it doesn't have a pop at the end. But that all together... Yeah, so that is pretty much the track. Um, using Ambition, I did use some percussion hits just to kind of give it the little fills here and there. Um, did use maybe a couple of instances of Zebra and one Vocalise. Um, but overall, what you're hearing is Ambition through this entire uh, track. So really, really, really cool to be even pulled on to do this for Sound Yeti. I mean, amazing, amazing, amazing library. Definitely one of my go-tos from now on. Um, I still haven't gotten the chance to go through every preset, but I mean, because I get stuck with, you know, within moving three in, I just start building with that. So really, really fun. I really encourage you guys to try it out um, for yourself. Really powerful. And I can't wait to see what Sound Yeti has um, coming out with it. I know, I know they got some other tricks up their sleeve, um, coming soon, so man, I'm really excited to get my hands on that, On um, you know, just to dig more into it. But for now, thank you for your time. Uh, definitely try it out for yourself.